A new study could give Indiana officials just a better look at the impact of COVID-19, and they are calling on Hoosiers for help. Officials say thousands of Hoosiers will be randomly selected to be tested for the virus and its antibodies. It's voluntary, but officials believe it's a crucial step. Demetrius Sanders joins us now with what officials say the test may show and how it may impact future decisions. Beginning this weekend, thousands of randomly chosen Indiana residents will be asked to test for COVID-19 and antibodies, which may reveal if a person has had the virus in the past. Starting Saturday and running through next Wednesday, we'll begin testing selected Hoosiers who were chosen through this scientifically designed study to ensure that they accurately reflect racial, ethnic, and geographic demographics of our state. The new study is a partnership between state officials and the Fairbanks School of Public Health at IUPUI. The study calls for at least 5,000 Hoosiers to be tested during four separate phases, with the latest being in April of 2021. Doctors with the Fairbanks School of Public Health say the random testing could give a better view of the overall impact of COVID-19 in Indiana. If we're only testing people with the most serious symptoms, it seems like we're only looking at the tip of the iceberg. What our study allows us to do is look below the water. The study could also be a major factor in decisions to reopen Indiana's economy. When you're faced with making a decision, the first thing you do is you reach out to the experts and, and, and let the data drive the decision. And officials are calling on the community to participate in the study if they are chosen. If you're chosen to participate, please do so. The validity of this study really depends on us having an accurate representation of all Hoosiers all across our state. Box says those selected for the study have been contacted as early as Thursday via postcard or email. Tests will be conducted at eight fixed sites and 10 mobile RV sites, with the nearest one being Vigo County. With local news that matters, Demetrius Sanders, WTWO.